Let's just okay. talk about people or something, because that would make me feel better. Talk about that. How's your best friend? Are you talking about Kristen? I've been really frustrated because the way she speaks, it's like, Katie and Stassi are horrible friends. They don't support me in my relationship, or they haven't checked in on me. And I feel like she's been telling everyone that she's broken up with her boyfriend. She, in the same breath, says, but we still live together, have sex with each other, and hang out every day. And I just feel like she's lying to me. Kristen and I have had our fair share of ups and downs, but this feels different. I sit at home alone and I fing cry and I'm scared to fing call you because you guys are annoyed by me. Kristen, come on. You came to me. Yeah. Your I... type of love doesn't fing work for me. Anyone is going to lose their fing patience That's when their best friend is coming here saying, I am you not happy. happy. I don't know that the person I'm hopefully growing into can be friends with the person who's not growing at all. I understand what you're saying. To me, lying is my Achilles heel. If somebody lies to me, that's it. I'm done. Yeah. I'm like triggered with liars. And it just makes me pull away. I'm not gonna dance this dance. I'm not gonna play this game. I still haven't been over to Jack's and Brittany's place, but I, I know, know they I... like just moved in there. There was like a period of time where I was really annoyed with Jack's because we're looking at houses, all this kind of stuff, and everything I said about the house, he just was like, it was immediate like one up, and I'm like, dude, this is something that means the absolute world to me. It's like I gotta try it's to like, do yeah, it. It's like yeah, we're we're that's good for you guys. We just we need a little bit more. We need to be in like. A, a little bit better school zone, you know, because we got plans with kids. Ariana and I getting a house together is the way that we are like showing our commitment to each other. I mean, we're not getting married, we're not having kids. Can I just have this one thing without Jack's like shitting on it? It's almost like he can't help himself. Tom Sandoval and I don't really have a lot in common that much anymore. Yeah. The kind of thing is like, do you know that I'm, hey, I'm getting married next month? Like, me, Jax Taylor, is getting married next month. Yeah. Like, this is a big deal. This I know, sucks. I wish Tom would see that and, like, at least try to reach out and see how you're doing every now and then. Jax and Tom have been through so much. Jax has done a bunch of sh to Tom. You banged Jax. Yes, we slept together. Did you use protection? Once. Tom has done a bunch of sh to Jax. You ever feel this? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But at the end of the day, they've been able to make it through it and then still be best friends. So I just don't think this one fight should ruin everything. I'm going to have to have somebody else as a best man because I you need You don't have to have somebody else as a best well, man. Well, I don't really trust Schwartz to take care of everything. Listen, that's a lot of, that's a lot of responsibility. Being best man all by myself. I need Sandoval there with me. You have to talk to him at the party. He's going to be I love there. that I have to go to a party to find him. Like, I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah. I'm not trying to be with her. Her and I went like legit Admittedly, together. Yeah, it's but it's similar to you when we first started working, was she the same way? Like, was she very much about you? I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, with, with Sheena, I mean, I think we all know she's very boy crazy. Yeah. It can be a little overwhelming at times, you know, when you want to, when you do, like, like you just said, you got a, out of a pretty serious relationship, as did I. Like, the, the last thing I want to do is run into something. I then made the mistake of hanging out all the time, every day. It wasn't like I didn't want to, though. You know what I mean? But then I realized, I'm like, this is a lot. Sheena, wait, what are they saying? That you're boy crazy and that Max made the mistake of hanging out with you all the time, or? Wait, what? Maybe, like, let's say you guys were to connect on that level, be like, hey, I want to hang out with you, but I want to really do, I want to take this a little slower than you have with everybody else. What are you guys talking about? Oh, nothing at all. Just, uh -huh. it's beautiful. Really? Nothing good? Uh, Did you I'm say I'm loyal. boy crazy? I, 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 yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a bad turn. It just sounded insulting. Katie was like, I don't know, Max is saying you're boy crazy, and like, he made the mistake of hanging out with you too much. I mean, I, that's not how it was said, You were but... the one who pursued me. Let's just not forget that. He doesn't know Brett and I's relationship. He doesn't know if I'm interested in him. So why would you say something that could make him run away? Carter. What's up? Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, what's up, Mama? Kristen is our friend. Uh -huh. She cries often. Yeah. Because you're still living at the apartment. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're moving out. I'm what? moving out. 
I mean, that's gonna take some time. It does seem like you've latched on, and it's a comfortable situation where you can go home at night. You know you got your bills paid. If you can't afford it and take care of it, baby girl has a job. And okay. It I know what it's like to not be the financial equal of your partner. But I contribute in other ways. I'm running a household. I'm giving killer BJs. What is Carter doing besides sitting around playing video games and sucking the life out of my friend? She did take care of me. For, for a while, yeah. But she's doing it right now, me. Carter, and you guys are taking care of me? Together. You know all. It's Lala. What's going on? Lala's really handing it to Carter out there. You really think that I would stay there if I didn't feel like she also wanted me there at the same time? If she wants to come out of her life, then she can come up and tell me that she wants to come out of her life. Guess who she calls when she needs something, she needs help? Like, she calls me. I was doing video for her to do on her website. Guess who shot her photo shoot today? This guy. Oh because she God. didn't have anybody else. This is crazy. From what Kristen has told me, she's told him that he needs to move out and not come around as much. I don't think she's innocent in all this thing, because she doesn't I, I don't think anyone's are, ever innocent. It's, it's two-sided. They're not hearing both sides. As I'm listening to Carter, I am officially seeing the gray area. I just, I crave honesty from people. And I'm being honest. But I don't know that she is. Oh, I don't feel really comfortable right now, though. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Wait, what's after that part? Finish the episode, subscribe, watch more. Hi, it's Jax from Vanderpump Rules. Click here to... Click here to subscribe. And click here to watch more videos of Vanderpump Rules.